don't forget, there's always that other option, though. The other option of being no deal, right? You still can go away and say, look, we just can't, you know, I don't want you to lose, but look, we just can't seem to agree at this point in time. Let's just take a break, come back, or just let, let's just don't do the deal. There's that option. I think I really like that because I think there is a temptation um, and think HHXX is asked, do we talk about politics? No, we don't talk about politics. We might do. We might do. But we're not today. We're not smart. Well, hello there. Conversation. HH8X, welcome to the podcast. Um, but there's a temptation when someone says to, to me, you know, it's tempting to say, oh, okay, good. That's not useful because that resentment can build up. Even though they said that, they're doing it just so you win, but there's going to be resentment and there's going to be backlash off the back of it. Not necessarily straight away, but potentially there could be. And again, you're not building up the bank account, right? So when that happens, what would be a good strategy? And I'm thinking, at least what I'm thinking, a good strategy would be like, no, hey, that's not right either. It's like having the bravery to step in and go, we don't, I still don't want you to lose. What, is there something we could do to make this work? Or if not, do we not do a deal rather than getting them to lose and you win? I think that would be a, that would be a great way to navigate that conversation because you're still caring about yourself, but also you're caring about the other person to get that win-win rather than taking the win. Even then they're offering, they're offering you the win, right? They're saying, you win, right? I'm not, let's have our conversation about, let's not let them lose either. And let's really get a fair outcome. And I'm really trying to focus on that. And that's something that this book really reminded me of. So yeah, I'm taking that with me. And um, and that's something I'm really conscious about. And uh, I'm going to be using that a lot more. Um, in fact, there's something going on in my life right now. At the minute, I feel like, like I am absolutely losing. So I'm fighting to have that better conversation. At the same time, I'm not, I'm not aiming to like get to crush them either. I want to have this solution, which is we both win out of it in a really conscious and kind way. Um, but sometimes you have to be harder to get someone into that position where you can get that outcome. So yeah, it's, and that's taken a lot of, uh, takes a lot of work though. Um, and as I say, that bank account, at the minute, I'd say that emotional bank account in that relationship, it's quite empty. So it's working on that as well. So the, the, the emotional bank account and the win-win, they go hand in hand. So negotiations with the bank account and the win-win go hand in hand. And you'll know from that conversation how it goes. But anyway, that's what I wanted to cover. And that is the fourth habit. <laughs>